Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hard Wars. We're raiding the Masked Man's Hideout, and I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of setup I've been doing behind the scenes, so <sighs> let's just get quickly to it. Alright, so first things first, Warren is again our sneaky sneaky guy, he'll sort of just move around quickly. I've got him with the repeated rival rifle and the baby number 9, dude. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll replace that baby number 9 with a 6 shooter because it's a bit more convenient. Um, so yeah, Warren is still our sneaking around guy with lots of movement. Fairly high aim and then with such and then um Brandon's got that sort of standard mid, mid range with a six shooter and a chain rifle. Uh, I've got him with Oikla because um his um his aim is still not all that good, but I've got him up to a trusty 65. Murray is the daring good guy, so he gets two shots every turn, so he's the high damage short range dealer. So I've got him with the cursed ammo, which basically yeah, which does more damage. And um our new guy, Char Eater, is our sniper because um he He's now got very high aim, especially with the four kind hand burners. And um, see, sort of his starting stats weren't all that good, so I figured it's better pop it's better to have him stand back and maybe just, you know, do, do things. So we'll just quickly go through the card, card screen. So because I've killed over 100 people, I get now I get all these cards. So there's actually going to be quite a lot. So so equalization probably won't use shadow solve. Uh, so again, sneaky, sneaky, not in direct sunlight. Regenerate not when not in direct direct sunlight. So it's nearby enemies, and then transfusion, which I probably won't use. All right, Brandon ricochet. Probably not going to use uh, courage. Bolster your parameters. Chain kill maybe. Barrage shoot all enemies maybe. And a black joker just to complete the combo. And you can see I've got a straight flash here. The plus one damage is quite nice. Here I've got 3 max HP and then here's 1 HP per turn so if he gets hit then he's got something to do but then he's got Cannibalize, King of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, Ten of Hearts so if you know your poker hands then you know what I'm aiming for. So and then our sniper, Child Eater's got Ace, I basically gave him all Aces and um but basically this one, this one's probably the most useful, every hit you score Kipple's target so when he's got high aim he's probably gonna be hitting something every turn so and then prayer maybe we'll use like if, if we're sort of just bouncing around and then Jinx your shot don't replenish any en enemy luck plus nearby enemies lose luck all the time but still all fairly useful for a sniper so without further ado let's proceed to combat might not die easily but you will make sure he pay for his there were some armed oil workers on your way but your eyes kept scouting for the masked man all right enemies have been alerted let's scout out the area so what i want to do is just sort of just Take a, take a look around the map, just see, alright, we've got a fairly, fairly white map, so it looks like, looks like we can have some people sort of just moving around and sort of just shooting from different areas, but it does seem we've got quite a white area to cover. Alright, so there's, there's two guys up here, and um, I guess the question is who or what should we do first, so Warren, 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 um, I think definitely getting, getting a pot shot up here would be quite easy. Of course, that's of course that's me possibly being very overconfident. Um, now, Warren's got the most movement, so I really should try and do this in tandem with um, everyone else. So I, I know that if I try to shoot now, oh, 59 is not that bad. I could actually move forward with um, with Murray. So I think I think moving up here would be good, and then just see what what opportunities he's got. No, okay, that sucks. Uh, all right, there's some there's, All right, there's two people here. Thank goodness for listening skills. Alright, um... Hey, uh, Child Eater is our sniper. So, but he does not have any sight up there at the moment. I know Murray had sight when he was there, so... Let's see if Brandon's got sight. Alright, does not look like it, so... I don't think, I don't think my, my chances are great, but I mean, what would be nice is for Brandon to sort of get around and be the flanker since that's where he is at the moment, so I'll get Brandon to move over here and let's see if we can sort of just look out for anybody Alright, so nothing nothing useful at the moment, so I guess we'll get Brandon to sneak up to that corner You'll get him a lookout and then you, he, he might get a point on this guy Alright, so I'll keep him on the 6th shooter Part of me wants to take Brandon around just to get out of the area a bit more, but I probably won't do that Uh, let's see I think as long as long as we keep him close to everyone else, he should be fine. All right. So what am I going to do about Murray? Murray, I can't really do much at the moment, but Warren, I could definitely move forward a fair amount, and hopefully you can take a pot shot at one of those women up there. Now the question is, do I move Murray here, or do I do I do I move him in here and take a pot shot? Um. Okay. Well, let's look at it this way. Um. These whoever's here can't come around and flank Murray. 
Whereas here, he's probably, he's much more seeable by everyone, so uh, chances are, if I move here, it will limit how much can actually, how much, how much, how many people can actually see my, so. Alright, so there's someone over there, and I've got a good shot at someone up top, so 74, 70, that's a pretty good chance, let's see, just double check, I get 100%, okay. Well, we're definitely taking that then. Very satisfying, I dare say. Alright, so... Mai, what are you gonna choose? Chow Eater, what are you gonna do? Um, the problem is Chow Eater is not in a position where you can take a shot at easily. Nor can he really move to a place where he can take a shot. So, what I think... We just need to get Chow Eater into a position. Some kind of position where he can sort of just... Snipe out a lot of people at range. So I feel like if I can get him some... Maybe here? That will give him a good scoping area, so actually I'll just move him... I kind of want to move him closer because it feels like I'm wasting his movement, but... Um, well, look at it this way, we should move Old Man Murray first since there's no one else that can actually use him. And uh, just see the dot... Okay, so they're both four bullets. Alright, Murray's going to take the risk and go out here. And Child Eater is gonna. Oh, you can't even go here. That's kind of disappointing, actually. Um, all right, we'll keep you behind full cover, and maybe you can take a pot shot at the person up the up the other person up the tower. All right. Who's who and where's where? You can actually see Brit. Oh, I mean, you probably see him through the window. That's really really weird. All right. So there's a 4 and a 6. So, alright, let's see what Child Eater can hit. You still can't hit it, you still can't see anything. Okay. That's kind of disappointing, actually. Um, alright, let's move, see if we can take a shot. Okay, nope. Well, it looks like we're gonna move you a bit closer. I really should have given you more movement speed because your movement speed is abysmal. Admittedly, you don't, you don't, you don't necessarily have the best items either. So, um, well, we'll get you a bit closer anyway. All right, you can hit one hundred percent, one hundred percent. All right. So let's see, let's see what what other chances Murray's got. So Murray, no, you don't have a hit. And Brandon, you've got two shots, seventy nine. I'm 49, so can I ricochet off anything? No valid targets in range, okay. So I can't do a barrage, I can't do... Ch well, chain key was probably a bit much, so... Uh, let's just see... 69, 34. Okay, this is pretty strange, so... I think... Well, the thing is now, I can't, I can't exactly go in here, otherwise he will take a shot at me. So... I think it's sort of time to circle around. And just see if I can get a nice flank on that guy. Alright, that seems like the wise option. And then we'll take a peek around here. Yeah, that won't be too hard. I know I'm sort of being very, very somewhat aggressive. Uh, but certainly it's not, not, not the worst thing to do. Alright, let's, let's go power off this side from my... And then we'll take a shot with 44. 44 is really not that great. I, I feel like maybe my distance should be a bit cooler. A bit closer. Um, smell blow, golden bullet. 5 damage. I think we should definitely aim for a kill when we can. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so that's Mari. And this one, so you've got the six there and a four. Or. So you can shoot the person up the top, or, or you can shoot this guy. Probably should have given you chain kill. <laughs> but yeah, this guy's the most dangerous. And since. Alright. Oh, aren't you a bit of a fat? No, you're just wearing a poncho. Okay. Um, Alright, everyone else coming closer. So far, so good. Right, so, Child Eater, what can you hit? Nothing again. Alright, let's get you behind here. Yes, you can hit something, finally. Alright. Your time to shine, Child Eater. 
despite your um, very unsavory name. <laughs> okay, who else is here? Um, now that's there, and there's one guy here. We can definitely get a bank flank with Brandon, but I'm a bit worried as to whether he can actually. Um, a bit worried as to whether he can actually like kill him in one shot because that's what I'm aiming for. So we'll go around here. All right, four. Yes, we can definitely do it. 71, 79. All right, 79, go. Oh. Well, at least we got him in our sight, so that's not too much to worry about for the time being. Um, okay, so... You can get a nice flank over here. Five, and then take a shot. Six damage. 72, 74, and take a shot. The doors of the house flew open. The masked man's best gun hands showed up. Okay, so two, an eight, and a six. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see what my my can do. Uh, I think it's the best. I the best is to still stay behind full cover. See if I can take a shot at this guy. All right, looks like we can. Five damage for four. Seventy-four, seventy-four. All right, let's keep let's keep even. Atta boy, Murray. So now I've got everyone nicely spread out, so it's kind of just... Oh dear, looks like Bradley's gonna be having a bit of a tough time. I do need to get everyone closer as well. Ooh. Okay, that is a lot of people. Well, it's about time we got here. Okay, uh, I probably shouldn't be saying that, otherwise I'll probably jinx myself, but... Oh boy, alright, um... There's one guy here, so it looks like I'll sneaky sneaky Warren and get moving. So he's around, uh, he's over there. So, should see which, what I can get for cover. Is this too close, that's the problem. I know he's quite far from everyone else, but thankfully I've got him with a lot of movement speed, so... That really makes life a lot easier. Um, let's check out Child Eater. What can you hit? Okay, can't hit much. So I think it's definitely better if you might get you over here. But first to do that, I need to clear out this guy. So let's let's get let's get onto Warren first. See what he can do. This is probably pushing a bit close. Alright, take a shot, 6 damage, 100%, 100%, alright, with the repeater rifle, go. Okay, now that place is safe. Uh, Brandon, 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 I'll worry about you later. Let's get Char Eater up into a good vantage spot. Well, it's not even a vantage spot, but I'm pretty sure from here he'll be able to just keep, keep sniping and reloading and sniping and reloading, so that works out pretty well for him. Now, Brandon, what can you ricochet off anything? No, we'll just enjoy the, we'll just enjoy the, the, pl the plus aim. So, 73, 69, 67, 49, and then of course it's getting worse as they go further away now. And and since I didn't kill this guy, he's gone behind here, which is giving me a hard time. So I think I think the best option is still remain in full cover, in at least high cover. So I'll get him moving here. I'll hopefully, he can take another shot. Let's see, 77, 75, 71, alright. Uh, let's see about this, 65, okay, so I need to be a bit closer. So thankfully I equipped him with a mid-range weapon. Alright, 77, yep, that's, that's as good as you're gonna get it. At least for this turn. Alright, Murray, what can I do with you? Um, these are not high cover spots, so I'm not very keen on moving out there. So... What can I do with you, I wonder? Hmm... I mean, I mean, if, if, if I had a new child eater here, Murray would have been pretty good for getting over there. Um, I think the other thing I need to keep in mind is that it's just to open up the possibility of flanks. So I've got Warren over here, I can definitely get him to move around over here. Um, I guess the question is where would these guys hide out? 
but I guess if with Warren got in the merge movement, if I get him to flank and sort of just move around this side over here, then I'll probably want to have Murray backing him up. So what I want to do is move Murray to a spot where where he can sort of, where he won't get hit. Well, not so much won't get hit, more like um, uh, this is tricky. I mean, the, the other option is over here with Brandon, but then the kind of leaves Warren out there on his own, so I think definitely I'll move him over here, so at least... Alright, and just hope no one springs up over there. That would be terrible. Alright, he's right for flanking. And Charlie to... misses? Well, sorry, the other way around. See, this is where Warren can get a good chance to flank, so... It's just a matter of, um, arranging my troops. <laughs> Charlie just getting hit all the time, that's gotta be annoying. I feel like maybe I should pull back with Charlie Eater, but I think part of it is dependent on whoever's... Oh, that's a flank and a half! Okay, poor Charlie Eater. With you being the only the only person that could that anyone could reasonably hit, it's only natural that this will happen. So, Brandon, you're killing this guy. You better kill him good this time. 77. That's actually really disappointing. Um, hmm. Well. I mean, at least he's got his list is down now, so. Alright, Mario's over here, and where can Wine go? Okay, Warren can get a good flank over here, so I think we'll definitely do just... Oh, that's... Are you kidding? That's high cover over here! Alright, let's see what we can do with Murray. Um, Murray has got too short range, so I don't want to stray too far. Um, but he can definitely see two people at the moment, so which is this one and that one. Alright. Insufficient luck. Nope. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Just 45 luck, okay, that's not, not so great either, so... Warren, how far can you walk? Oops. Um... Well, this is doozy. I mean, they're all under... Un, I mean, it, so, I, I mean, I had the right idea of getting Mario and Warren out here just to do the flanking. But it certainly looks like I'm not getting all that lucky week. Just getting getting good places for shots, really. So I guess we'll take a risk and move Murray out here. Because the more flanks I could, the more flanks I can get the better. So we'll take a shot. 59, 59, 44, 40. Oh boy. 9, 44, 40. Okay, 59. 59. Okay. Now, Charlie, what what should I do with you? The problem is, the problem is that you're the only one I didn't equip with a um. Yeah, you're the only one I didn't equip with healing herbs, which now feels like a really silly decision. Let's see what I can get done with what I'm first. Um. Hmm. Tobacco, dry healing herbs, or equalization or transfusion. Okay, um, okay, what I'm thinking is... I think if I can move Warren here, she can probably move around and flank though, which is my, my biggest worry at the moment, so I think... I'm gonna move Warren over here. Still keep him behind full cover. And then we'll take a shot at whoever seems most plausible at the moment. So let's just see if I... 44, 40, 50, 38, okay, I need... Alright, 54, 50, and 62. Not liking my chances here. Well, we'll take the highest, whatever you can. Okay, that's a miss. Okay, Charlie, then what do I do with you? Uh, petrification, tobacco, skip the scavenger, only over a corpse. Yeah, actually I could do that. So this spot. We'll do that. Scavenge. Confirm. And then 
I'm 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 a, I'm a. Uh, I I thought he was doing cannibalize. But now I know I'm the biggest idiot ever. Okay. Um. Let's do a prayer. Pray a pray for random powerful bonuses. Less legs. That's probably not useful at all. But we'll go with it. I'm the biggest idiot ever. I've just lost my sniper rifle. Alright, he's hiding. He's gonna touch on Murray, but thankfully Murray should be good to move around flank this person. That sounds like a reload. Alright. She's reloading and gonna take a shot at who? Oh, okay. Obviously, I have not equipped Child Eater all that well. Alright, Murray takes a hit. Oh, now that's full cover, that's gonna be a problem. Uh Ooh. Okay, my my reach I just that is good, so we're gonna we're gonna get our flank now. It's always best to guarantee kills whenever possible. Alright, take a shot, 70. There we go. Oh come on. Okay. This is annoying me now. Charlie is not gonna be able to do much, so that's kind of a kind of a pity really. Let's get Brandon back onto the scene. And what can you hit with this chain rifle? 79, 75, 59, 49, 79. Alright, we'll go for the 79. Um hmm. I mean, the more people we kill, the better, but of course, um, that actually requires, um, people to actually, you know, move around and, uh, be in places where we can actually hit them. So, one, 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 one. Let's get you over there with Murray. I think it's in Paris. We finish off the one at the back. Peter Rifle, 100%. Okay. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not that... Not that many down, but definitely one better than before. So, Charles Eaton, you're still gonna be behind full cover, I guess, for now. Um, Tobacco, shoot, 29, 70. That's pretty good. 72, 64, 66, 70. We'll definitely take this one thing. Yep. And you missed. Oh my goodness. That's a double flank, mate. You sure you want to do that? Oh, you're all aiming for one, <laughs> jerks. Okay. Okay, looks like Warren needs to get a moving. That's <laughs> completely drained him off his luck. All right, Murray, double shot. Let's see how much you can do. 39, 36. Alright, 29, alright, 70. And then you'll get another shot, 70. Come the fuck on. Oh my god, alright. Fanny, 72, 64, 52. 72, Fanny, 52. Let's do this. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Um, Warren, what do you want to do? The problem, is, the problem is everyone's now firing at you, so I need to deflect some of that back onto Murray. So we'll get you back into full cover, and hopefully make use of that shadow regeneration. So 54, 50, 50, 54, okay, that's pretty good. Alright, if we get a kill, let's go for it. Alright, that's pretty good. Now Brandon, what can you do? Um... You can definitely get closer. Make yourself somewhat of a juicy target. Now, who can you hit? 79 or 47? 79, that looks like a much better chance. We'll go for that. Thank you, Brandon. Finally, masked man appeared. As good as dead. I don't exactly see him on my screen, but... Uh, really? Oh, 15. Well, would you look at that? He's gonna kill. 
I was like, he's gonna kill Charlie, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Um. Now, it's one up here, one up here. This guy's the problem. So I kind of need to keep moving up until. Can I shadow kill him? Maybe I just need to be closer. Let's let's uh let's move Mari here. The the other thing is that I don't know if he's actually protected by sunlight, so he's not. But we can take definitely take a golden bullet. So that's pretty good, I gotta say. I mean, we, I mean, it's best to guarantee that. Um, it's comforting to guarantee that we are able to do this. So, all right. What can you hit? 47, 38, 47, 38. All right. Can I ricochet something? No. Okay. Courage requires 19 luck. What does courage do? More enemies on silent activation with a bonus as you receive. Nah, let's just take a shot. I'm too lazy. 49, 40, 38, 47. Okay, let's, that's one damage. Can I get one more damage out of that? No, okay. So I think, I think the best idea is to move Brandon until somewhere we cover. That would be nice. I mean, ultimately we want to be sort of just getting up to the house and getting in and going upstairs because I have a feeling she's got to stay up there. So I don't think this, I don't think anything useful is going to be happening. Uh, let's see. Plus, the closer I get, um, the closer I get, more more chances I'll be able to hit stuff. So, 49, 37. All right, 49 it is. It's only one damage, but still, I mean, we still get to reduce this luck. All right, child eater, you're the end. Oh no, I think let's do one. What can you do for me, one? I wonder. It'd be nice if you, you could just vault over these. But um, let's not complain too much. Hmm. Alright. to move you Warren. I mean you've got the most movement but quite possibly not the best uh... all right let's go with that and take a shot 100% well I'll, I'll take that then and Charl Eater can sort of move in somewhere uh, I'm not quite sure where but I definitely want him to get closer, so if I can get him somewhere with full cover, then we just sort of just make sure he doesn't get killed by the masked man. This doesn't really seem to be any good full cover places, so I'm gonna get him to hide around, and I'll get him to around here and then to the wagon. Alright, I think I can definitely do that. He gets shot at all, my. You big jerk. Alright, where's the masked man gone? I have no idea. Well, oh, Brandon, looks like you can only, you can only get tr through his, like his friends. So, alright, Mouse Man is still up there. That is interesting, really. 40 to 25. Your chances are not that great. And um, so, I feel like... Alright, let's, um, let's storm the house, I guess. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see who can move where. Mari, where can you go? You we'll get you behind here. We can we can definitely afford to be aggressive this time round. All right, Warren, you we go in the house. You can sneak up right behind them. Actually, that's kind of terrifying to be honest. But do you have fanfare? Yes, you've got fanning. This is such a big move. <laughs> I really, in XCOM, this would be quite, um, quite really unheard of, really. Um, now, Fanny, insufficient action points. Let's see if we can take some damage. I mean, in, the least we can do is lower his luck, so it's better than nothing. Oh, Jesus. Poor Brandon. 
Alright, let's um... Let's take out this guy first. 72... 69... Hehe, <laughs> 69. Alright. Alright, one, one, one last person killed the masked man. So, I guess I'll keep Brandon in and I'll get Murray in. I mean, I'll, get, I'll keep Brandon out, out there. Sort of as a distractor. And um... And then we'll get uh... We'll, we'll pop the herbs, herbs as Brandon and keep shooting, that will keep his attention. And healing over time, thank you. And can you do a fanning? Can you do a fanning for me, buddy? Interfishing action. Well, you know, okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, alright. Keep reducing his luck, and then... Oh! Man. Sorry about that, Brandon. Alright. Murray, what can you do? We've got one shot. And I don't think that's gonna be enough to kill the masked man, so... You can't actually hit him either? That's with a vanning? That's kind of disappointing, actually. Can't actually see you. Alright, well, um... Vanning, no. Vanning would be nice. 65, 60, alright. Let's hit him. Alright, Brandon, let's... Three shots where... Nope, okay, we'll just we'll just keep on shooting. Then we'll, no, we'll, then we'll keep reducing his luck. Confirm. And let's get Murray onto the scene. So if he moves back in there, at least Murray will get a good shot at him. Is that a kill? Nope, not useful. But Murray, you're at 9, so that's probably not going to do much. Alright, so, take the tobacco. Oh, no, actually, no, we should reload. We should definitely reload. And, Charlie, Eater, let's get you up here as well. I feel like he's just gonna do something like blow himself up and then you'll, like, do damage to the boss. Well, showtime. We'll take two shots. Six, 65, are you serious? Okay. 100. I mean, it's, more, it's definitely more satisfying. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, alright. Warren. You get the last shot. You better not screw this up. 63. What are the chances? Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's reduce his out of ammo. Yes, alright, yes, thank you, I'll reload. Can we shoot him, please? Shoot! Go! Oh, you finally hit him! Not that it matters. Go, Murray! Oh, come on. Child Eater, let's, let's, um, let's put your new weapon to the test. Six damage! Go! Alright! In the end, the man who sported the mask now sported a big bloody hole in his forehead instead. That's when you heard the familiar voice in your ear. It wasn't over yet. Florence's soul wasn't yet gone. She was trapped in purgatory and could still be saved. Oh God. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the Wild West, this has been a very interesting scenario and I will definitely be looking forward to starting the next one. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you hope you enjoy all the strategizing and sort of my decision making. And I will see you on the next video.